Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation with radicals. We have square root of 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power x equals 2 times the square root of 2 to the power x. So let's go ahead and use substitution for this problem. First of all, I noticed that 2 times the square root of 2 is square root of 2 multiplied by 2. So if I set a equals square root of 2 to the power x, does this mean 2 root 2 to the power x equals 2a? But that's false because we have the exponent. So it's a little different than that, so we're going to have to find something else. So I want you to notice that 2 times the square root of 2 can be written as square root of 2 times the square root of 2 because 2 can be broken down times the square root of 2. So we have the square root of 2 or root 2 3 times. So that means root 2 to the third power equals 2 root 2. And this is a general rule, like if you cube square root of x, you get x times the square root of x. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and substitute everything into, this equa into the original equation. But first of all, let's simplify this a little bit. 2 times the square root of 2 to the power x can be written as square root of 2 to the third to the power x. And then the 3 and the x can be switched around. And we can write this as square root of 2 to the x to the power 3. And since square root of 2 to the power x is a, this becomes a cubed. And similarly, 2 to the power x can be written as square root of 2 squared to the power x. And that is the same thing as square root of 2 to the power x to the power 2. And that is a squared. So by making this substitution, which is a equals square root of 2 to the power x, we're able to simplify this and actually turn it into a polynomial equation, which is obviously a lot easier to solve. So we get the following from the original equation. Let me write it one more time. Square root of 2 to the x plus 2 to the x equals 2 times the square root of 2 to the power x. Now we're going to replace square root of 2 to the power x with a. This is going to be a squared, and this is going to be a cubed. So let's go ahead and put everything on the same side. a cubed minus a squared minus a equals 0. Hopefully you already figured out that there's going to be a golden flavor to this problem anyways. So take out an a, and you get a squared minus a minus 1 equals 0. And then a equals 0 is going to be one of the solutions. But a equals 0 implies that square root of 2 to the power x equals 0, but that's impossible, right? No way, because uh, you have a positive base, raising it to a power, it's never going to be 0, unless x approaches negative infinity, of course, but we're not talking about limits here. What happens from here? We get two solutions by using quadratic formula, negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, that's 5, divided by 2. And this is when we split it up into 1 plus root 5 over 2, and 1 minus root 5 over 2. Great, let's go ahead and take a look at each one. So, if a is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2, that means it's equal to square root of 2 to the power x. So we're going to get some solutions from here. But let's go ahead and take a look at the second one. That is 1 minus root 5 over 2. And if this is the case, then we have a problem. Because 1 minus root 5, uh, probably I shouldn't write, implies, the problem is... 1 minus root 5 over 2 is less than 0. And square root of 2, any power of square root of 2 cannot be negative. So we're not going to get a solution from here. But we're going we're gonna to go with the first one. And that's going to give us the following. Square root of 2 to the power x equals 1 plus root 5 over 2. This is where the golden ratio comes in, right? So... What are we going to do? We have a variable in the exponent, so let's go ahead and ln both sides, right? You could also use a um, different base, doesn't matter. At the end, they're going to be equivalent. So this x, we can bring it down, write it as x times ln square root of 2 equals ln 1 plus root 5 over 2. And then by dividing both sides by ln root 2, you'll get the answer. So x can be written as ln 1 plus root 5 over 2 divided by ln root 2. You can also write this using log, base, whatever, but it's not, it doesn't matter. No big deal. This is fine. 
Okay, so that's going to be our answer. And numerically, this is going to be about 1.39, if I'm not mistaken. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of these functions and see how they intersect. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the graph of two things here. Square root of 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power x and 2 times square root of 2 to the power x. So remember our original equation was like this. So we're kind of looking at the intersection point of two functions and that happens to be at this point where x is equal to ln 1 plus root 5 over 2 divided by ln root 2. And that's the y value if you plug it in because this is a cubed. I hope that makes sense. And notice that the green graph is going to grow faster. First it's slow and then they're going to intersect and then they'll never intersect again. So we have a unique solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.